Hi there. We're, We're the Guy Hoppers! Hoppers. Hi, my name is Julian, and I'll be going over the functional specifications and figures of Barrett. Uh, the most important functional specifications is S1, that we have a shelf length of 12 inches, and that the maximum load capacity is 40 pounds. In the figures of Barrett, we want to have our shelves movable in two modes, shelf mode and workbench mode. Hi, my name is Janelle, and I'm going to be going over the three body diagrams. So, in our assembly here, we have all of our links labeled here. This is our three body diagram for link two our free body diagram for link three, which is our shelf with a load applied to link three. And then this is our free body diagram for link four. And these are all gonna be important so that we can set up our calculations for the force analysis. Hi, I'm Joseph and we'll be going through the force analysis. Uh, so we're looking at the forces in our mechanism due to the load on link three. Uh, so we set up all these big equations and we're going to plug them all into this matrix here, solving for this column. Uh, and because we're going to be doing stress analysis on link 2, we're most interested in the forces at that point and also the torque on it. And we can see that the force in the x direction is 5,640 newtons, in the y direction 2,350 newtons, and the torque is 542 newton meters. Hello, my name is Adrian. I'll be doing the stress analysis today. We'll first start off by looking at our mechanism and buckling columns. Looking at our mechanism right here, we are just doing a stress analysis on link two as it holds the most load. And using the buckling calcs and equations given from previous coursework, we are able to find out that we are using Johnson's equation in this situation. And using material properties from MATLAB, we are able to calculate the critical loading. Um, and using the force loading that we got from the force analysis, we can see that we have a safety factor of 4.62. However, it doesn't mean we can cut down on the size of the link here. Uh, looking into our stress analysis, you can see that we do run into a safety factor of 1.55, which is close. This includes the bending moment and the axial loading, um, and this proves uh, that our structure is sufficient to the safety factor that we did spec out. All right, everyone, I hope you liked our video and our product. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us right now.